got that one. Yeah, let's, um, just, let's just talk about your business, talk. What the fuck's going on? Are you, you guys no, bro, we'll talk, we'll, let's talk about your quarter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> The ongoing series about the life of the people touched by the love of the Pacific. Here are their stories. This is Highway 54. All right, five, hey. four, three, two, one. Hey, everybody, there's a special edition on Highway 54. Guys, you guys know me. My name is DJ Kid Mango. But we've got people from different parts of the country. But at one time, we we're all together in this little place called Yokota. Uh, in the land of the rising sun in Japan. Uh, we've got Doc in the house, AJ in Colorado, and we've got Pat, the man from Okinawa. What's up, guys? What up? What up? Man, it's good to see you guys. It's like uh, only like yesterday, like I saw you guys last. Yeah, I saw you at Bar Rosa today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I haven't talked to you guys in uh, two seconds. Uh, what's up? I know, right? <laughs> Well, this is just you guys know. We really had Filipino time. We we're actually supposed to start like an hour and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> an hour and a half ago. An hour and a half ago. So, uh, great guys, uh, we have some great fun. But the reason why I brought these guys together is uh, back in 2013, there was a uh, event that we all kind of combined together as uh, not just an organization. We had three or four organizations, but also um, the base came together and it kind of really it touched our heart because all of us. Our family is from there. We are from there. And uh, we knew family who were um, impacted uh, because of this uh, event. So 2013, uh, November 8th, was uh, Super Typhoon Hyen, uh, Hi Hyena, Hi Hyen, Hyen. <laughs> also known as <laughs> Typhoon Yolanda. I'll say Typhoon Yolanda. Uh, it made landfall in the Philippines November 8th, 2013. It was a Category 5 storm. Uh, it laid waste on the Visayas, mostly down south, um, the country's central region, uh, home to about 17 million people. Uh, Yolanda was one of the most powerful storms in 2013, but at that time, it was the most powerful storm they've ever had uh, in history in the Philippines. You're talking about a winds of 150 miles, miles per hour. And those of those who know Philippines, not all of the houses were concrete. You talking I mean, about first attended that day, huh? Safe to say, yeah. Shacks, yeah. uh, you know, tin, wood, fuck, you know, by high kubo. I mean, no, nobody was safe down south, man. And so, what you know, you're talking about 14 million people affected, 44 provinces, about 4.1 people were displaced because their house was just gone, floods everywhere. And so, and then at, at the end of all, there's about uh, almost 2,000 people missing. Like the, the, the water just came in, it, they just never found the bodies. And so what happened is one day, I worked at the teen center at the time, and I just made a post and said, hey, you know, I, I just want to let you guys know I have a connection to the Philippines if you guys want to donate whatever. And what happened just kind of really, you know, broke my heart because everybody you know break my heart in a good way because everybody kind of just started donating stuff i'm like and not knowing like what the fuck am i gonna do with all this shit like you're talking about right clothes shoes <laughs> furniture like what the hell am i do with furniture but what we did at the teen center the whole remember the whole court was full of stuff i said i reached out to the philam Filipino Association. I reached out to the MIA, the Guam group. I reached out to the Sons of Hawaii. I reached out to uh, Striders. So we all came together and said, you know what? There's so much stuff. I can't mail all this stuff. I can't ship all this stuff. We did. So what we did is we had a big ass garage, right? Garage sale. And we kind of sorted everything out, kids, clothes, you know, uh, stuff like uh, baby wipes and everything you can name, we had it. And we sold the money. The money that I, we made from that we gave it to uh, the Ilo Ilo because at least I know where the money was going to, right? Yep. And in Ilo, they gave out to, because it was Central central Philippines, uh, Masaya. Uh, they they used that money and we so well documented the pictures, the village they went to, and they used that money. But the rest of the stuff uh, that we had left over um, went to the Philippine embassy. So with the Phil Am Association and in coordination with the uh, FSS or services, uh, FSS services, uh, we rented a bus, loaded up the, uh, the boxes, and we went to the embassy. So I'm going to show you the video real quick. 
and just to kind of show uh, AFN did a spot uh, with us here. The Yakota's Filipino American Association, many of whom are from the Philippines or have family there, wanted to do their part to help with Typhoon Haiyan relief. So, with the help of the Keystone Club, they collected donations of non-perishable goods and stored them at the Airmen and Family Readiness Center and the Teen Center. As officers, we, we kind of got together and uh, had a game plan to um, rent a good place to the donation drive. So, we got it done on the west side, rented the, the basement and um, spread the word out throughout media. And then um, the director of a AFRC is nice enough to let us use the storage in the back to store the, the donations. They sold some of the goods to raise money for the Philippines, and the rest they loaded up onto a bus and drove into Tokyo to the Philippine Embassy to drop off the supplies and receive a special thank you. I mean, it's a great uh, fellow Filipino uh, ambassador of the Philippines in Tokyo um, having his busy time take a few minutes to come greet us. It felt great. So we're, we're really appreciative that he came out. These dedicated service members and teenagers have shown that even a small group can accomplish big things and small gestures can have big meanings. Anyone can help. Anyone can do somewhat little. If you can do a little bit, it'll help out a lot in the long run. This way of helping, it may not take days, it may not take months, but somehow one way or another, we will progress, we will improve, and that's what this is all about. And whether the relief supplies help one person, a hundred people, or a thousand, they will make a difference. Petty Officer Phil Stewart, Yokota Air Base, Japan. Yo, that was, ooh. Stop. Out, hey, just real quick, just shout out to our uh, really good friend, uh, Bob out there. I've been seeing him in that video. Yep. Oh yeah, Bob was there, man. Yeah, I forgot oh, that he was there. Dude. That's crazy. Yep. Um, how'd you guys feel about that that video after how many years now? When was that? 2013. Yeah, 2013. Do the yeah, math. <laughs> what so, month yeah. was that? Do you guys remember November? I don't. I don't know. No, it was no, it was later than that because we started in November, so maybe okay. what, mid December. Yeah. That was like uh, eight years ago, and I think that was December that we went to the embassy. Actually, it's crazy because we just we just got uh, we just took office right in November. Yeah, and yeah. I think days after that's when it happened, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Doc was the uh, president. Who was the vice president? I was. I was. I was. And then uh, secretary. It was Trish. 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 And then Bob was the what was Bob? Sergeant. Treasure. Both. I think both of y'all are treasurer. Or sergeant at arms at no, the I think like that. He, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. then uh yeah, and uh Floyd was the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> it was in between. He was a he was a manager. He was a talent, talent manager. He's, yeah, yeah, he's the board of directors, CEO, COO. He 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 was everything. Yeah. He was the advisor, he was the he was the big baller. You know, you, you know, Floyd's been there for the longest time and you know he knows everybody, he knows all the connection. And then whenever we needed some kind of support, you know, uh, you know, Floyd was always there because he knows everyone. He knows who to reach out to. Yeah. yeah but, but just to go back, uh, I remember um, the the previous uh, officers or the committee was looking for, you know, a uh, group of people to take over. And just for us to be, you know, to be there. And I, I think we all got there around the same time just joking around saying, hey, we just take it over, you know, make it lively, make it fun. You know, we got, we got younger friends that are out here. And with limited funding, you know, we we went through and, and, and made it happen. And, you know, we had other activities besides this big one that we we're talking about. Um, but yeah, yeah, that was, uh, was a great opportunity for us. Um, glad that we did it. Uh, we came together and, and, and made, made it happen. Anything? You know what's crazy? Everything was unplanned, right? Like even yeah. when we took office, we were just talking about, oh, since we're playing basketball all the time, we might as well yeah. take over this, and then we're always together, anyways. Yeah. Right. So that was one, right? And then whatever happened, I, I forgot how we actually got a hold of uh, the embassy. No, so huh, I think 
thought, I thought it was you, AJ, right? That had connected. Yeah, right? uh, that was me. I got a hold of because uh, I was uh, applying for a defense attache job over in um, Korea. And then uh, one of my friends told me that, hey, my friend works in the embassy. He's a defense attache over there. And uh, why don't you, uh, you know, uh, put you guys together and, you know, start talking to each other. And then when I started talking to him about becoming a defense attache, that's what, and that's when it happened. And then, uh, and then I asked him, you know, this is when, you know, we didn't want, you know, we had all these donations that came in. And then, you, you know, just like what Floyd said, you know, we went to, and we did a garage sale and then we made plenty of money. But there's still a lot of stuff that we need to get rid of that we're trying to bring into the Philippines. Mm-hmm. And then uh, and that's when the idea came that, hey, uh, is there any uh, possibility that the embassy can help us out in shipping this out to the Philippines directly? And then, uh, yeah, so that's how I reached out to, uh, you know, the, the guy over there at the embassy, the defense attache, and then... Um, and then eventually, and then uh, later on, the ambassador. So that was that was pretty cool. And you know what's great about that thing too was, um, you know, it was a very it, it was very meaningful work. It meant a lot to a lot of people. But for us, we feel like we were just playing around. Yeah, it, it was just like it, it was actually a typical, it's a pick, typical hangout, typical yeah. you know Friday night. Let's go cook and drink something type of type of time for me you know it's just hanging out with good friends and doing something yeah it didn't feel like work at all really yeah. it didn't feel like work at all you know we you know we coordinated stuff you know with mm-hmm. the help of floyd and all his connection we we were able to coordinate and bring in a lot of things you know cash in a lot of uh money and then we were able to uh you know bring it to the philippines and everybody was all in you know they uh not not just the yukota philan but all of the you know, our Hawaiian brethren and uh, all the Islander brethren, uh, the Guamanians, the Chamorros, they were all in too. Uh, because, you know, one way or another, you know, people from Guam, people from Hawaii, you know, they, they got some Filipino roots in them. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they were all in and helping out. So that, that, that was pretty, that was pretty awesome. That was, a, you know, that was one of the greatest things. You know, a, a, a lot of people volunteer to a lot of different stuff in the military you know, uh, you know, to be honest, a lot of people are doing it, you know, mainly for the bullet or whatever. But this are, part, yeah. it, felt, it felt more. It was more than the bullets that we're going to get from all these work. But it it really, you know, us reaching out to, uh, you know, helping out, reaching out to our, you know, our countrymen. Yeah. yeah. Are in need. Even yeah. though even the local community, I think I remember we went off base and we were driving. I think it was a church. Mm. Or something like that. So we had to yeah. collect stuff off base, and it was it was crazy. Oh yeah, oh and yeah. Like you said, I think it was just the the brotherhood that we had already. Yeah. So it was it was nothing. We weren't really looking for anything, right? It was just it was just, things were just happening, and we were just like into it. So I I, I think we learned a lot from that because uh, obviously it meant a lot to us because it's going back to our countrymen, our our families and friends, and and you know, and so. Yes, it was great that everybody pitched in to 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 uh, give stuff, but it's very difficult because, like, you hear the news of like pallets and pallets of stuff on the tar- tarmac in Clark and in Manila, just sitting there because they don't know who am I supposed to give this to, right? Yeah, where's it going to? And then you have the story. I'm pr- I'm pretty sure it happens. Some of the boxes got raided, and the people who worked there got the stuff like that. And so I we knew that was going to happen, but obviously everybody had their heart into it and gave it to us. So I said, well, I can't say no, you know. So I want them to make the. F- so like it's almost in return, like well they're giving giving us stuff to make them feel good that they did something in return for our our countrymen and say well we're gonna try to give. Even though I know it's not going to probably end up in the places that we want to, but okay. But we did several things, which is you know we did the garage sale and we have money, okay. But the important thing was where is that money going to? And that's where at least in my connections uh, from Iloilo I said, hey, look, it's very important that you document the money that's go- I'm going to give you your receipt. I want the pictures. I want everything. Remember, I sent all those pictures of what villages yep. they went to and all that, and then that made me feel even better. So. I think at the end of the day, it was one of those things like, you know, uh, remember when um, we practiced for Neo? You don't know until it happens, right? 
Yeah. But it actually yeah. happens. Like when a tubo happens, what are you going to do? You put people on the boat, you know, like that. So I think lesson learned. If something were to happen like that, we kind of know, like, you know what? Just give me the cash. <laughs> yeah. Just give me the money. And I got a connection, whether it be Pat or AJ or, 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 or Doc's fr- uh, family. I'm going to give the money to their town. And that money is going to go sp- specifically to the people that uh, that's, uh, need the money the most versus going to a government and all that. So yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think that's what's important because uh, you know nothing against the Philippines. You know, I'm not saying that the Philippines is uh, all of Filipino government officials are corrupt, but there are some people in there uh, that are corrupt. So it's great that you have that connection in there, Floyd, in Iloilo, that you can, you know, someone physically handed the money to the yeah. people that are needing the money. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. So that, that, that was pretty awesome. It gives you a warm, fuzzy feeling that all the hard work that you've done, yeah, you know, actually went straight to the people and there's no middleman, there's no cuts or there's no, yeah. Uh, yeah. only a portion will go to, you know, the country. So that, that, and what's that was crazy, cool. I think uh, one of my staff was from Tacloban. Oh, yeah. And she lost her house and everything. And oh, I man. gave her, I think I gave her uh, like $300. Like some of that was part mainly my money and I had some other friends and some of the money I gave to her and I look just take it and she was crying because her her house was like devastated oh hell yeah so is that where you, you guys remember do you guys remember the total amount of money that um was donated I think it was, was uh what we, we donated and uh earned I think it was about three thousand okay three thousand just from the both ways a lot in the Philippines, you know. Oh right? yeah. yeah, no, don't know. Um, I wish I could find the pictures, but um, you know, it was like rice, food, sanitation, yeah. dumpers, uh, whatever. Uh, and, and I had, I had like, a, it was very important to me that there was document. Like, please take a video. Please take a picture. And remember, if you guys saw it, if I can find yeah. it. They had a sign that says "Thank you, Yokota Field." Yeah, yeah, it was like a banner type. Thank you, so, Sons, of Hawaii, uh, Sons of Hawaii. Thank you, MIA. So yeah. that you know, that's that's the receipt. Like that money went to the people that needed it, and so right. it was a, a one of the best maybe uh, operation that we we did together as a group. Obviously, I can't do my by myself, but at least we had uh, that coordination with everybody. Yeah, yeah, that's really. Awesome. Are you from Ilo Ilo Floyd? No, 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 no. It was my ex. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Love you, Rose. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can just cut that out. <laughs> yeah, you can just cut that out. Sorry. No, no. We, we can go all in here because Floyd can just cut it. You know what I mean? Pass is pass. Pass is pass. The yeah. pass is the pass. Just, just, pass. just remember the memories. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was no, no, yeah. Um, I had family there, but I did have, uh, you know, my my right now. So if we had a, another operation or we want to donate, my uh, niece is the uh, vice mayor of our town in, uh, in Laguna. So hopefully she'll be. Where's your town? Where's your town again? Kalawan. Kalawan. Ka- Kalawan. See. Si. Batangas. Kala- Kalawan near Batangas near Las Banos. Uh, oh, okay. Lamba uh, in that that oh, general. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kalawan. She just she won last year. She is uh, the vice oh, mayor. No. Yeah, my uh, my family's from Los Baños in Cavinti. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're down the road, bro. In uh, Cavinti, Laguna. Yeah, that's oh, where my okay. mom and dad from. Oh, yeah. Well, just down the road. Come by, yeah, man. Down the road, man. Dude, we got a, you know, we have an estate there. <laughs> maybe yeah. not, not maybe not as big as Pat's, but, you know, ours. Is, we got, we got. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, uh, that's so, um. So yeah, I, I know it's it's been a couple of years since that happened. Um, but I wait, I, wait, I, I got I gotta ask. I can't remember, but I believe we got talked to by Yakota Public Affairs by not letting them know what we were doing, and then by not letting them know that we we're talking to the ambassador of the Philippines yeah. for Japan. I remember that. I was like, <laughs> we get a little talking to we did we get a little slap on the hand, just like. Hey, your quote <laughs> there should be should have been a part of this. No, what the hell was going on? Yeah, I forgot who that person was. I can't remember because I, I, I thought I got you know slapped in the hand a little bit for that. Is that because we had I AFN on there or what? So yeah, I, I heard that they 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 were supposed to talk to me, but uh, they they did it in so mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, no, I wonder if that's was that before we had AFN or after we contacted AFN. 
um i think it really yeah they they already knew that we were doing all that shit oh. and then when afn when afn did their story somebody like what the fuck did you know about this <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. weird you know we we're trying to like do like what uh, why does the, help why does the wing commander knows about this exactly that's what happened that's pretty yeah, much it, yeah, if it wasn't for the wing commander or someone you know watch the the news like what the fuck i didn't know yeah, about yeah. What, what, why is my name not on this why yeah. is why are there fucking 374th is that right 374th wing people i'm the wing commander 374th wing people are talking to the ambassador <clears throat> that i'm not aware about exactly so i understand that that yeah i totally understand where they're coming from but yeah, yeah whatever protocol is protocol <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to help, yeah. God damn it. Yeah, yeah. I, I always talk to you for a second, and then, then, okay, so what do you want me to do? Not take take it back? Like, no. Oh. <laughs> I know. Just Straight done. Little, just a little slap on the hand. Yeah, you know, it's just uh, FYI, please. Yeah, it, it's basically saying, don't do that shit again, and let yeah, me know before you do anything. FYI, if you're going to talk to <laughs> someone, if you're going to talk to an ambassador, don't yeah. make sure that you about that. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, it would be embarrassing. Boy, yeah, it's embarrassing. You know, if you're a commander, you're it's embarrassing. Like, hey, think that think that you know, we want to thank you for you know the operation and you gave money. Like, and he could be like, What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he won't do it. Oh, he or she won't be like, Oh, yeah, yeah, we're glad to help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got yeah, you. I wanna, I wanna think, uh, I, yeah, I want to thank all my fucking island people from you. <laughs> <laughs> i'll have that lumpia yeah oh yeah but, uh yeah it was what it is man and you know i, I look back at that and just like man that's, that's pretty that we did that i don't know if we ever be part of that you know there's a lot of operations throughout our careers like man you know i wish i was part of that oh i wish i did that oh i wish that and yeah. then it happened for you know yeah. our our parents country or you know you know uh philippines so yeah and um, you know, I've been I've been to quite a few base. You know, um, when I was in Korea, we it's a tight knit uh, community as well with the Islanders, the you know the Filipinos and the um, Hawaiians and the Chamorros. But we, or at least I, have never experienced either before or after that event um, how close we were, how um, excited and um, up. You know, we were just happy to do it, you know, without like saying, oh, shit, I got to get up early because we got to fucking move these boxes or damn, I wonder who's going to volunteer to like sort all this shit. Even though if I go back, I would have slapped some of the people that would like complaining because we're doing it. But that's besides the boat, like 95 percent of the people were willing and, um, and you know, really, really happy to 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 assist uh, however yeah. they, you know, could during that yeah. event. So, and I'm sure once we, you can edit it, like, like I can find more pictures of, and I'm, I'm sure I have it somewhere on Facebook, you know, the action pics that we took, um, even before when we're, you know, collecting all the clothes and the, 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 the goodies that we were boxing up, wow. um, to share it and tag those people, you know, to, to let them know that, you know, we appreciate it, you know, um, for all the help, um, and not, not because we're friends or anything, but just, just you like from the heart you, you're coming out yeah. and not yeah i mean there there's so many people on bob and there's you know there's a lot of people that if it wasn't for them even though i know we were the officers we were the the coordinators I and mean, we could do it by ourselves and so we want to thank all those people that helped out uh whether you're part of the groups or not uh those who donated uh i mean I'm, i looked through all the albums and in the, in the pictures like man there's a lot of people involved even little kids that were part of it yeah. And um, I think at least at that one time, um, all the or, these three big organizations, the MIA, the uh, uh, SOH, the um, uh, Philam, were all together as one. And like you said, AJ said, like, you know, all of us, all of them at least know a Filipino, part Filipino, is Filipino, or, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it, it, it's, it, it meant something to them. And we all came together for the, you know, one, if not the first time, uh, one of the last times, uh, and at, at a mean, meaningful uh, event that uh, that uh, touches everybody. So I didn't hear anybody complain, but you know, who, whoever was there was there to help, 
um maybe some other ethnicity were like the fuck i'm doing here like <laughs> Yeah. all in told or whatever you know but hey whatever it is what it is yeah it, it, it was a good time it didn't feel like work at all i, mm. I had a blast mm. you know i've never had a uh you know i've never been a part of a private org that was so tight-knit oh yeah 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 and, and when, when, we, when you when we say tight-knit like when we have gatherings especially for like the um asian american month yeah like Sons of Hawaii, you know, like, you know, the Chamorros and the, the Phil Am will, will put a booth like yeah, right next to yeah, each other and just, show the, food and just party it up. So yeah. that was during the, the especially during the Friendship Festival. Yeah. You remember the Friendship Festival where, you know, we intentionally put the Yakota Phil Am, the SOH and MIA all right next to each yeah, other. Yeah, that's and the best time. And boy. that's where everybody just gather and because that's you know that's the party booth that's where everybody had you know, exactly. different you know a lot of music playing a lot of dancing yeah. a lot of uh a lot of drunk islanders going on and uh yeah, yeah it, it was a blast and uh we uh flag waving yeah, and yeah i know i gotta i gotta look up the the the, yeah. the video where fucking Juan and uh, jc took their shirt off and uh, started dancing and all these people just got just gathered and then swarm in and like no it was uh what's his name Bilbo, he was the half half Filipino, half white. What's his name? This is the one that took off his shirt. Oh, Bilbo, Bilbo. No, no, no. It was JC and Vaughn, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gildo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's talking about Anthony Bebo. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Bebo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I used to work with. But, him. Yeah, yeah. It was like uh, like John Manguni and see Carl all the time. Yeah, I had the video somewhere. I'll I'll, I'll shoot out to you so you can. Yeah, yeah, it's on, yeah, it's on Facebook where you know, uh, fucking hey, JC and Vaughn. Take your shirt off in the uh, you know, your marketing scheme or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah. get the Japanese girls to uh, you know line up over here and uh, you know buy our <laughs> to start buying our lumpia. No, it was it was a steak. It was a steak. Oh, it was a steak yeah. yeah, I remember. Um, yeah, and then you know we could put it on the lighter note, right? Um, just just how much fun that was preparing for that friendship festival. Yeah. You know, we didn't have any money, so we had to scrounge up. AJ had to go look for, you know, a, a, for funding so we can get a product to sell. And I remember just like, man, are we going to sell all of these steaks, you know, all these people? But I just remember during that day where the line was so long and yeah. we were just grilling, you know, all day long, you know, and, and, yeah, and the we, line never so, stopped. So, so let me tell you, I order every year I order... 4,500 pieces of ribeye steaks mm. and we would sell, you know, it's a two day event and we would sell out on the second day. Yeah. Half day. yeah. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, that was a blast. Hey, go invite the, the Chamorros and the Hawaiians right now, right now, right now. Go. <laughs> hey, now, they're, all, they're all camera shy, man. Trust me. I've, I've tried so many times. Really? But, yeah. So it's Hawaii. Man. No, let's tell them like, Hey, let's drink. Yeah. Right? And then yeah. just turn the camera on. I don't want to drink, drink, but, uh, drink, wasn't drink and it's put on live. Yeah, because oh. remember, at one at one time, um, the presidents, obviously of the Philam, were all Filipino, M I A S O H, right? Oh, so right. It, was, it was me. I was president M I A, and then Jordan, Chief Jordan, yeah. <laughs> Augusta yeah, was yeah. president, and then of course the Philam was president. Uh, president. So three at one time, the for 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 the very first time ever. Nice. Uh, three of the presidents were all Filipino. Yeah, that was yeah. I was still there. Yeah. By the way, Jordan's about to retire. Do you guys know that? <sighs> Chief Jordan. Yeah. Chief yeah he's, about, he's about to retire uh, this year. Yeah. Yep. Um. But yeah, that was a really good times, man. I I know I was part of the Phil M before because I was there since two thousand one. So I've had like almost mm -hmm. ten years before you guys came, <laughs> like a Phil M, Phil M, and we're strong. I mean, we're huge. But to me, honestly, because of my our age, your the Philam during your generation at that time was the most fun because we're all about the same age, you know, we're more more yeah. uh, younger and all that, and so and we're just like here to have fun. We're like, I don't care about the bullets. I'm just here to fucking train. Yeah, exactly. It, it, exactly. You know, we we became officers not because of the bullets, but we became officers just because we're all friends. We're all hanging out. Minus. Mm hang out and do some other shit yeah, that, yeah. Uh, benefit the community yeah the filipino community our yakota community 
and uh, you know, and, even the local community, as yeah, well. you know, the local community, and and make a name for ourselves, right? For all the Islander people that get stationed over there, that hey, we're not just stationed here as military folks, but we are a good steward of uh, of Yakota Air Base. Yeah, yeah. And, and by the way, uh, I know um, we're all military, but shout out to some of our friends that are local, right? We got we got what's his name, Martin. Okay. Martin, Martin, yeah, Martin. Uh, Gab. Gab. Gab, yeah, yeah. So Gab. Martin is our Japanese international liaison. That's yeah, the, yeah. You need to tag him. Right. When you, when you, yeah, he should be here. You can tag him on this. Yeah, yeah. Who else? Who else? Keep going. Keep going. Uh, get Gabe, people. What? <laughs> uh, oh, see, uh, Jessica. Shout out! Yeah. Shout out to Purple Raid. Purple Raid. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Purple Rain and uh, what's the other clubs? What's that club? Uh, uh, Diesel, Diesel. And what was that club that got shut down because they raped somebody? Oh, no. <laughs> Diesel. Hey, I don't know. I, I don't know them no more. What's the name? But... Yeah. No, the one below. The one below Diesel. 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 See? Yeah, that's the name of it. Yeah, Diesel on top and then one below. Yeah. You know the uh the, the, I don't know the name of it. I don't, I, I don't go to Barrow. I go to work and go home. That's so it. when you find some pictures, find some pictures of uh, of Barrow, so that way people can see can can see what we're talking about. Just you can you can edit it and put it in here. I got some pictures that we can show you. I got picture of me and, and AJ holding hands like this in there. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I, have, I have a couple pictures. Hold on, let me let me try. Yeah, yeah. I can share. Uh, I uh, shout out to uh, Chu Highs over there walking down, getting some Chu Highs on the way to the to the train station. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, what's up, Bob? What's up, buddy? <laughs> what's up? This is at the embassy, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's at the embassy. Yep. Yep. Who's, who's that guy in the middle? Oh, that's my boy Jose. 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 Oh, I, I forgot that Punan was oh. there. Yeah, who's this guy on the in gray? Punan. Punan. Oh, he's the president, Aaron, right? Aaron. Or no? Afterwards, he was the he president was... before you guys. No, or, well, yeah, yeah, because Colette, Colette was the president after us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah and then uh, Fred, where's Fred now? Oh, Fred, yeah, Fred, oh, Fred, Fred, Fred. Um, I think he's in like New Mexico or yeah. and, 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 like, he, like, Arizona. Or New Mexico. Or made chief again. Oh, he made chief. Oh, chief in the kitchen, yeah, chief yeah, the yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, the, this is Phil Stewart, the AFN guy. Oh yeah, 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 I remember him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you bring your Did you bring your kid there? I didn't know. Right. <laughs> that oh, that that's now. Eleven now. <laughs> is that Jewel? Is that Jewel on your arm? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's some random Japanese kid that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, your boy was there. Yeah, your boy was there. And who's that dude in the tie, like to the left? He is I'm the defense attaché. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've seen him a couple of times because they they have access to the base and they go to the, yeah. the exchange. Okay. Sorry. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. So okay. these are the boxes. Yeah. Some of the boxes that that we okay. gave. Almost the boxes. Yeah. And this is outside. And um, this is my. Man, I don't, I don't oh, yeah, remember. It's still it's Christmas time. Is there's a parole in there? Yeah. yeah. So it was it's December. Got, it was it's it's got to be like December, January time frame. I was right before. It's yeah, so it's gotta be December then because it's yeah, like, for maybe for maybe a second week, it was mid December. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all right. Look at Dwayne, he's like super know. small. Yeah, yeah. Dwayne is 11 now. What's that? Oh, man. Four? Yes. oh. <laughs> oh okay, okay. Oh. Hey, hey, okay, no, okay. It's no. not, not talk about the infamous Christmas party, right? That well, here's here. the background. Mm -hmm. You know, the Phil Am, even before these guys, was known for our Christmas party. So we've always had really great Christmas parties. But yeah. this one took the cake. This is the... <laughs> oh, definitely. This no. guy right here. AJ no. is like, hey, Floyd, we need a band. We need a singer. We need a comedian. I got you, fam. I got you. <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you. <laughs> so we, got, no we got comedy and then some. Because yeah. no, it's not some and more. Yeah, <laughs> we're talking about cucumber, eggplant. Oh, yeah, we had everything. Hey. We're talking about stripping, <laughs> <laughs> and these are the hot boys doing the hot boy shit. <laughs> those, are, those are your officers, man. Those are your officers. Yeah, look at that. Crazy at daddy daycare. <laughs> <laughs> look at <Dwayne. laughs> Oh, yeah, 
These are the yeah, that, Costa, that is that is a Costa. Generals. Yeah, that's Chief. That's Chief right there, boy. Who's where? Oh, okay, that guy. Okay. Jesse. Oh. Uh, oh, Lakers, Jordan, right? Jordan, Jordan. Oh, that's where? That's him, Lakers, right? right? No, Jordan. That's Paul. That's Paul. <laughs> about Lakers, the Lakers guy. No, we're here. No, that's no, Paul. No, that's not Jordan. No, that's Paul. Oh, that's Paul. Like Jordan. He looked like him, though. He, he like does. Him. Uh, he had, I thought the tattoo was like, oh, okay, Jordan. I know. Yeah, the the Lakers. Oh shit! Look at that. Pretty yeah. boy <laughs> swag. <laughs> no, we got you. Got to add some more pictures. There's like more hilarious pictures, and uh, let's go, Martin. There's oh, the mayor. Martin. There's the mayor. That's our Japanese international liaison. <laughs> they, I call him JIL. <laughs> <laughs> he got the connects, bro. Oh, oh damn. Dwayne Dwayne's so so little. Oh, hey, you gotta show. You gotta show that to him. He's so small that time, huh? I know. Now he's bigger than Pat. Oh my God! Look oh, at that. That's look, look at us, Dad. That, that's how many uh, bananas do we have? <laughs> so let's talk about uh, what's his name? Julius, <laughs> Julius bro. Julius. Yeah, fucking flavor of the month. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! Ew. You know you're gonna get tagged on this how video. Skinny. God damn. Yeah, he's so little. Yeah, no, he because he was born there, right? He was born in uh, Yukota. Yeah, he was born in Japan. He yeah. was born in uh, Tachikawa Dekawa Doko Deska. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, we gotta add, you gotta add, I gotta find you some more pictures to, to share. So, that yeah, was, there's uh, a lot of pictures on Facebook, definitely. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, yeah, Here's some tough. pictures. Right, there you go. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, to Ray. Take Ray. Hey, Ray. Kid. This is a Christmas pig. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh I didn't Ooh. know you guys were doing tickets. Yeah, we're getting our own tickets. <laughs> and there's an iPad there. iPad Air. Dude, you know what? So let me let me let me tell everybody, right? So at the Friendship Festival, we made so much money that we were giving away iPads, PlayStation, shit like that. Like we spent, TV, I think, yeah. 10 grand for the prices alone. Wow. So that was that was pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, you know, we put in a lot of work in. Uh, oh, um, she's here. She's here. Christina. Christina. Yeah, she's here. And this is um. That's Bob's. Uh, Bob's, Bob's wife. wife. Yeah. What's her name again? Layla or no? What's Elena, her name? Elena. 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 Uh, the the Greek killer right there. What's her name? What's his name? That's Claudine. Finance, right? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So this was at the officers' club, and here's the. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Is this the? Is this the one with the? The Bakla boy? No. Yeah, yeah, that's that's uh, that, that's the Christmas party. Bro. That's, 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 that's right? Yeah, Christmas parties, right? Yeah. So we, we so just for people's sake, right? Like we spend a lot of money on food. Like our our the tickets were sold out. There you go, and this, uh, The band, one of the bands, I think. Oh, you know what? This was the first one, right? The second no, one. This was, is not the one with the bakla. This is the oh, one. With the no, I. Hey, so, no, no, this is the one with the bakla. Why you'll see? Because yeah, I remember yeah, but he showed up twice. I went to the, I went both. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the year after this is the one with the at the e club. Same, oh, okay. same person. Yeah, same but I, I think he stripped it on this one as well. No, so the one we did at the O club, one we did the e club. Yeah, that? this is at the O club, I think. Who's yeah, that? This the first one. Yeah, Who's O club. That, next to me? that was uh, the singer. The lead song. Yeah, that was, that was, see, uh, yeah. Michelle, Michelle, and that's yeah, me. Yeah. There. You see me. Yeah. There. Yep. Mm. I don't know. We're gonna see. Uh, there you go. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Good one. Did AJ sing? Did AJ sing? Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. He did. He did. There you go. That's oh, him. That, that's him right there. Oh, that's him. Her. That's him. That's him. Her. Right in the voice, Bro, right? that dude. I thought. I thought. Um, fucking Fred was buff. This motherfucker can beat Fred's yeah. ass. Oh yeah. He was pretty big, actually. I think, uh, I think he, uh, I think that guy raped JC. <laughs> That's oh, here we go. I wish we took a video for this fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, we, I, a lot of dancing as well. I think the games was the were fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, probably the first time. <laughs> Can we take a break? I got it. Go ahead, man. Go. You got to pee? 
I think yeah, I think this is one of the first time uh, you guys ha had me uh, ask for a band. I think they did it the second yeah, time. Yeah, was the first. Yeah, as, as officers, this was the first Christmas party that we had. You guys did, yeah. So it's because some of the old Philam is still there. See, some of the guys right there. Yeah. Yeah. So we yeah we we invited that Bakla twice, right? Yeah. Yeah. See some of the old see Ate right there, from the nurse. She's been there forever. What, 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 what's the Pinky? That's Pinky. You know, you remember Pinky? Yeah, she was yeah. the, uh, one of the coordinators there at the old club, but she also was the old cater coordinator for New Sano Hotel. Oh, yeah, that's right. When we, uh, yeah, I, I think I remember at one point that uh, we coordinated a party over there at New Sano when I first got here. I mean, in Japan. That's how. Uh, so that Kulet, he's the, he was the next one after us. Yeah. He took over and whoever his crew was. He's the um, he's an officer now. No. Not him? No, wrong guy. He's he's a. I think he's in Korea right now. He's a, um, still been, enlisted. Yeah. He's been in Korea forever. Yeah. yeah, that was a fun. That was a fun. Yeah, fun so the year after that, we have we had it at the E Club. Yeah. yeah, it was. Oh yep, yeah. that's what that's JC, and that's how we got raped. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we should get we should get JC over here. Yeah. In this uh, yeah. conversation. Oh, no, it's fucking one o'clock. He's probably sleeping. Yeah. No, at last he's doing TI, you know, duties, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Crazy yeah. schedule right now. Well, uh, you know, one of the things, uh, not not just we had fun, but, you know, we have our youngsters, too, that, uh, you know, as they're growing up in the military, it's hard to uh, gravitate to families who also speak the Tagalog or, you know, or yeah. the different dialects, you know, Elecano, Basaya, and all that. And so, like when they come, we come together. Are not the adult parties, but the regular parties. You know, the kids are exposed to not just the food, but also the language. And um, yeah. I know with the Philam before, we had like Tagalog class. We taught uh, some languages like that, just yeah. stuff to to get to get the kids, uh, uh, you know, used to uh, the Philippine culture and all that. So, yeah, for uh, sure, definitely. Yeah, I don't know if you guys did that with the kids, but that's what we did before. And then we did uh, Tenekling one time. We did uh, the, what do you call that? The fan dance, the candle dance uh, a couple of times. Yeah. So fun yeah. times. It's it's not, uh, it's kind of back now. If you look at the Yukota uh, Phil Amp page, it's kind of back, but not the same. It's all around. Even all the organization is kind of not the same as it used to be. To say social media happened now and people are afraid to go out or you know yeah. you know we're there you know we cut loose we we had these kind of parties we can do what the fuck we want and we can but yeah, people we have, we have lumpia wrapping parties yep we have fucking meat marinade parties <laughs> we had borrow parties we have just we basically have every get together is a party yeah, yeah. even yeah. The meetings, the regular meeting is always involved Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we I remember have... one time we, I don't know if you, I don't, I don't think you were there, uh, Floyd, but one time we were at, uh, usually at Jason's house because mm. he's that's the house that we always go to. And we would get so loud. And, you know, we live in a high rise here. We're on the eighth floor. And we get so loud that the, the, um, the neighbors would complain. I remember one time this guy was knocking at Jason's door really loud, like obnoxiously loud, right? And we all came out, like 10 guys came out. <laughs> And like, the fuck's your problem? And this guy, I could see his, his face like, no, I'm about to die right now if I say something else. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I remember Bob got into his face. You know, Bob gets crazy. Right? I, I, even in the court, he's like, the fuck you knocking at the door like that for? What the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah. And I just remember, dude, it scared as hell. Uh, we weren't going to do anything to that guy. We were just kind of like, hey, bro, just let us know. You got to be obnoxious and yelling while knocking at the door. That yeah. was just one of the memories that I remember. Yeah, so you we had our crazy parties. You know, um, you know, I got I got in Yokota in 2010. It was a one year tour, so I was supposed to be out of there by 2013. I did an Epcot, so did another three years, and then uh, so that's 2016. And then I tried to apply for another Epcot. That shit got denied, man. I want to stay <laughs> in Yokota as long as I can, dude. <laughs> that, that was a that was a that was a great time in Yokota. I, you know, I always tell my, uh, you know, my subordinates, my friends, and you know, my leadership that, you know, Yokota Air Base was, uh, you know, my my best assignment ever. Mm. You know, not only, 
you know, the job was great. You know, we're doing a lot for the community and the, the brotherhood, you know, the island, the island brotherhood was really tight knit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you go to the BX. Hi. 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 hi, <laughs> hi what's up? What's up? You, you go everywhere. You know, it's like it's like you're the mayor. You say hi to everybody. <laughs> everybody, yeah. knows everybody in there. Yeah. Um, and not only that. Uh, and, you know, uh, you know, we have our basketball uh, events. Too. We play. Yeah. We play a lot of basketball. We got into a lot of fights. <laughs> I got a big knot in the back of my head because Bob, one time, Bob, my buddy, my boy, he's the he is you know Bob Floyd. He is our uh, he was a he was uh, our Manny Pacquiao, bro. He, uh, <laughs> he was our protector. He was our dad. He was he our was, yeah. enforcer. The enforcer. He called that. So if somebody while yeah. playing basketball, you'll see Bob running, throwing yeah. punches, throwing <laughs> kicks. And then, uh, goddamn, Bob would always start fights. It's like, Bob, relax. It's okay. <laughs> it was just a little foul, all right? Relax. Yeah. It, it, it's okay. Don't fucking knock him out. But but I feel like, the you know, the 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 the, the hobbies, you know, the, 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 the stuff that we like, and which is basketball, right? And then and going out outside the base, other bases to compete um not only was fun but also a way to get connection um with with the local with the other filipinos that, that are local right that are living in japan whether you need a certain kind of shoes that you're trying to get or places to go you know you, you got that connection and you linked up with them and say yeah, you know and, uh, we're competitive on the court but outside after this one you know let's let's have a barbecue or you know, let me know what places we can go to do to do fun things with, whether with our friends or our family so yeah, i think that's one of the biggest advantage yeah. that we have like going out there and 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 meeting those guys and we get a lot of uh volunteer help from those guys from the local uh local uh, yeah. filipino community like i said martin was like the number one guy yep. yeah shout out martin i know you're gonna be watching this so yeah. 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 2019 when i I got back from um, from deployment and I took yeah. a little break. So I, I flew to to Hawaii and uh, hang out a few days. And then I I took a um, a Mac flight, which is a it's a, a aircraft that goes all around. And I took it from Hickam to Yokota. And Martin was there. He was like, "Hey, well, let's hang out. I'll meet. I introduce you to the new Pinoys that were here, you know." And he was there and you know hanging out and just introducing me to people. You know, I already know people there, but he was always there, you know, whenever, you know, you want to wanna link them up or he knows somebody that can get you what you need. Yeah, man. He, he's the best J.I.L., man. That's what he is. <laughs> let, me, let me get a beer. Right back. Okay, okay. Yeah, Martin was, uh, if, if it wasn't, uh, if it, for something outside that I didn't have connection, Martin had certainly had the connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he really filled in the, the ranks of like, hey, I got you, man. Uh, anything in the Philippines in, outside? Got you. Yeah. For me, uh, at, the, at the time, whatever, I, whatever connection I had, of course, on base, um, I knew somebody, I knew somebody, I knew somebody. Uh, yeah, yeah. We got you guys. Um, but yeah, man, it was, it was, it was a very fond memories, man. I wish we can all go back. I, I, would, I would definitely revert back to those uh, two or three years or five years that we were all together at one time. Right. Um, I would do some, some stuff different, but for the most part, you know, lots of good memories, right? Uh, yeah. Off base and on base. <laughs> but uh, before uh, I say something else, I just want to give a shout out to um, AJ's outfit, business. <laughs> a top party at the bottom with the PJs, bro. Let me see that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you guys, man. I was getting ready to go to sleep. So, hey, so let me tell you guys a little. Let me tell you a little story. So my job out here, I work at the headquarters, right? Um, not getting into the details, but with this pandemic, it's hard for us to to meet in person. And part of my job is to go out and engage with uh, other countries, partnered nation, right? So, um. In regards with these pandemic, we couldn't do that, so we have to do virtual meetings. So my dumbass <clears throat> had a had a meeting, and you have to be in uh, uniform yeah. today. So I had my boss was there. Uh, this is uh, I won't say the country, but like this part of your nation, military uh, leaders. This is our like higher ranking people, right? And so we, we were chatting, talking about you know medical stuff, chatting, and this probably like with an hour already talking and I'm like, oh shit, I got to pee. 
So my ass got up and went to the bathroom and came back. My boss texts me. He's like, they were like shout out. Really? Red shorts? So, bro, <laughs> I was wearing ABU top and I had on my basketball shorts. <laughs> I got up and they saw me. They saw my shorts. Oh, and, uh, said, yeah. it's, it's red shorts, not your red thong. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. So he was like, uh, make sure you like slide next time or yeah, no, right. don't don't that. Up. Over the camera. <laughs> so that was kind of embarrassing because I was like, oh shit, like you know, a first impression, my first meeting, and my boss saw me wearing like not wearing my pants <laughs> uniform. Yeah. Or at least stop, uh, stop the video at least, you know. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> I know I did it was like it was intense, man. It was like, oh shit, that was a good conversation, but I gotta go pee. Okay, hey, I, so, so, I just reminded me with AJ when he got up. So, hey, so uh, I got I got I got to ask you guys, Pat and uh, Doc, how's the Philam community over there in uh, Okinawa or in Germany? I'm not involved here. Really? I know I know there's one when we got here, but then because you know Pat's big time. He does vlogs and stuff now. You know, he uh, vlogs. That's, that's where the money's at, bro. Vlog. You know, first you know, time I've heard it. Vlogs. You know, like vlog, you know vlog. You know, you know, you know, you know <laughs> I'm a vlog influencer. A yeah, but um, so apparently they have a big Phil M community out here at Ramstein. Um, they ha obviously have the Facebook uh Facebook page, but uh, there's nothing going on in here with this lockdown. Nobody wants to go out. Everybody's yeah. scared to get together, or they can't. We can't. Um, you're only allowed to have one visitor, one person invited to your house. What? And if you're caught. It's like 500 euros penalty, um, something like that. I don't remember, but it's you're not supposed to per. That's the per country's regulation. Well, yeah, you you guys are you and uh, um, Pat are in the big base. So Germany has a history of like one of the best Phil M organizations uh, besides Yukota, and then Kadena uh, usually have one, but it it's all different now because of the past five, six, eight years. It's just different now. It's yeah. not as strong as it used to be, you know, because when you socialize, it's different, you know, yeah. like when you yeah. socialize, you want to get to talk to people. You want to get to know people. You have to go yeah. out, do go some out, yeah. phone or not. But now it's like they can get their social interactions on their phone. On their phone. Yeah. Like, I can yeah. follow AJ. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't know he did. I yeah, like, he, I like he, talking he, to people. Yeah. Like he went to Monroe. He went to this and that. Oh, okay. I'm good. You know, yeah, so. but this is the, that's the younger generation, it's just like the millennia generation. It's like for us, we want like face to face, like, okay, I want to slap your ass because you know you're funny and shit, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> you know, now like people are like want to follow people or just message people, like, even even now, they, they're scared to, tell, to talk to people, you know, like yeah. they just don't want to like t message you or text you. They don't, they don't know how to talk to each other, they don't know that's how to like talk. awkward for them. Yeah. Oh, that's that's your you, uh, what do you call that? They, they take offense to it. No, no, we're, I'm just fucking joking, man. Like, just joking with me. <laughs> I get to joking with you, man. Like, no, you know, oh, I'm never going back to the Bill app. You know? A lot of people are super uptight. Uh, yeah. You know, we got the haters. We got the, you know, the the jealousy motherfuckers. Like, look, I'm just here to have fun, have a fun, good time, you know? Yeah, yeah. Come join, you know? Come join us, you know? Come join us, man. But everybody, even before that, there's actually been that kind of, vibe with some of the uh, other Fil uh, Filipino Americans who are uh, just like, they just don't get along with other Filipinos, man, you know? And then you got to remember, dude, some are Elecano, some are Bisaya, some are like different towns and shit, and like some are different classes. Uh, we, it's hard. It's, I'm sad to say that, but there's some are different classes. It's just, yeah. just the way it is. And, and, and you know, unfortunately, it's 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 hard to say, but it's it's the real real re reality, right? Like when people are like, I'm better than them. I don't want to hang out with them. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> you, know, you know, in our generation, right? You know, we see we see a brown folk, right? We see a brown person. Hui, Filipino, ka? Filipino, five. Best friends, all of a sudden, right? Now, but, uh, now, now, can you say, can you do that at this time? No. Can you do that they, nowadays? They don't give a fuck. Like, well, I'll, I'm going to speak, you know, yeah. Yeah. I'll speak for Cali. Cali's are up, we are uptight Filipinos. Not me, because I've been around the world a couple of times. Like East Coast, because it's not concentrated. You're talking about New Jersey, New York, Virginia. You don't see a lot of Filipinos or Asians. Like, so if you say, oh, you Filipino? In the East Coast, it's cool. 
California, they don't give a fuck. No, because you fucking every every time you turn around, there's a Filipino or a Filipino store. So it's like the norm, right? So they don't yeah, give a it's fuck. like the norm. This is the norm, yeah. yeah. Here, San Diego, LA, San Francisco, fucking Vacaville. Oh, dude, a lot, there's a lot of Filipinos, man. It's like Haley like, huh, sure City, shit. Yeah, it, yeah. It, yeah it, it's different now, man. It, especially in the military community, right? So I was stationed in uh, Nebraska. That was my first duty station. Who would have thought? That there's a huge Filipino community over there, right? Oh, so wow. when I first got there, you know, I see a brown folk. Hey, you Filipino? Hell yeah. All right, best friend. You're my new best friend. And then I see another Filipino. Hey, you Filipino? Yeah, you're new, my you're my new best friend. And then next thing you know, our you know, our community is so tight mm. that you know, whenever we have uh gatherings and occasions, you know, we cannot stay in one house. We have to rent a uh we have to rent a place so we can oh. all and have fun and this is in nebraska you know who would have thought that there's a bunch of filipinos in a big filipino community in nebraska if it's like an air force base yeah yeah be yeah, yeah this is not no there's a lot of locals too that oh, wow. actually yeah that actually retired over there and see okay. the great thing about um you know uh not non-california or non-big city filipinos is you know, we seek out other Filipinos, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. We seek out other Filipinos, and then once you find them, once you see them, you know, you're automatically family. Yeah. So in California, when you say, oh, you're Filipino, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, there's a fucking crab mentality type mm. of shit in, the, in, yeah. in, 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 big, in bigger Filipino communities. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what I love, too, bro? Whenever you meet somebody... And they were like, and I'm like, oh, you're Filipino? Oh, cool. Oh, you speak Tagalog? Uh, no, I don't speak Tagalog. How long have you been in okay, the bye. Five years? <laughs> Bitch! Wait, you, you're 50 years old, and you okay, only okay. been in five years, you can't speak Tagalog? Okay. Get the fuck out of here, man, with that bullshit. So, that's a hot topic. I know, I know this. We don't talk about this often, you know? Yeah, and, yeah. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. So, there's some of us, right? Some of us, right? Who like like you guys? Some of them were born in the Philippines. They came here when they're teenagers, or maybe maybe college, right? Maybe like twenty, whatever, right? And then we have those people like that. Oh, I I I don't I don't I, don't, I forgot Tagalog, whatever. Like motherfucker, you've been here. You were a teenager, man. Like by that time, your vocabulary is already developed. Like you fuck Tagalog, right? I I get that, okay. But don't fake the funk. Like me, I grew up. I was born here. I grew up around my parents. My parents was province. Here's a st- so here's a story. I asked my parents, Dad, Mom, why didn't you speak Tagalog to us at home? Because during the 60s and 70s, when you're born, we're just learning English ourselves. So Sabahai, we're talking English to practice, actually. And their mentality is like, we want you to be with have an American accent. You know, they don't know any better. Not knowing that we have some friends who spoke both, right? The yeah. God look at home and English uh, at school. So, but my parents' province, they didn't know. So I didn't grow up speaking Tagalog. And there's a lot of us, you know, if you talk about Phil Am, Phil Am, there's, you know, like 80% of us don't understand Tagalog till this day. Even my, some of my sisters don't talk Tagalog, man. But I learned Tagalog because of you guys and my exes and my, you know, my, 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 a supervisor, they all speak Tagalog to me, or I, I try to learn at least through ABS, CBN, BCD, DVDs, whatever, right? Rich 107.5. So, yeah. <laughs> no, no, but, CF, what, CFC. Like, but like Doc said, there's some c- cats like, I forgot Tagalog. Motherfucker, I can hear you. You could speak Tagalog, man. I know. Yeah, yeah, your accent is so goddamn thick. <laughs> there's no <laughs> way you don't speak Tagalog. I kiss me, sir. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I don't speak Tagalog. I, 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 forgot, I, I forgot. It's been a, many times. Many times. Yeah. The fuck? Sabina, sabina, sabina. I've been here all my life for five years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking five years old? God. <laughs> yeah, embrace it, man. I think now... Be proud, bro. Like, yeah, I, I'm think, proud of my accent, man. Yeah, I think now because... Of Manny, is my culture. Manny Pacquiao has brought us to a forefront of like it's cool now it's cool to be filipino like, hey man man back out you have that like oh okay it's cool to say that i'm filipino but you know i i read an article that one of the most 
the top 10, top 20 sexiest accents. I think Filipino was like number two or something like that. No way. <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. Yeah. Number hey. one and number two. But I think that's more like female, you know. The guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't yeah, think they're talking about males. Guys. Yeah, not guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hello. Hello, girl. What's your name? <laughs> Who are you? What's your name? You wanna go to my you wanna go to my room? Okay, I'll swipe right on you, girl. You're funny, you're funny, you're funny. Yeah, you're you're, you're funny. <laughs> yeah. You're so funny. No, yeah, I mean you shouldn't be self-conscious. I don't think we should. And you know oh, we us Philams feed into that too also. You know, like, oh you're fab, bro. Oh you're fab, oh you're wow. speaking English. Oh spoken dollars, like what the fuck are like? But but on the flip side, oh whatever Floyd, you speak Tagalog. No, bro, like I, I really don't speak Tagalog. Like I understand, but I really don't speak. So yeah. there's there's a there's a it goes both ways. Yeah. You can hear it and then yeah. you, you can figure it out like what year did you come here? <laughs> what year or like what what region are you from? You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah. but then you have friends who can do both. Like, you know, yeah, and like, yeah, and I have friends that are like, no accent, bro. I'm like, bro, you were born here? You're like, no, I grew up in PI. I was like, damn, I want like, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Especially if you grew up in like LA. If you grew up in LA or San Diego, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Speak Tagalog? Go, yeah, bro. Like, damn, okay. Yeah. That's what's up. And, it, and it's hot too when girls do it. When girls do it, like, shit, all right, all right. Yeah. They, they talk. Right, right, right. Especially when they do it like, they speak like multiple dialects, bro. Yeah, they put that Kamapongan or that uh, Basaya. The Basaya, the Iloilo down. Yep. But so, Pat, that, when, are you, when are you going to the Philippines, Pat, for your um, leap? Leap. It's supposed to be this year, but we'll see. So my plan is to uh, my boys, and that's that's you know we're talking about you know uh, teaching and learning, right? That was I failed to do that. My boys are seven and five now, and every time I talk to them, like bro, you gotta learn. So I, I try to talk to them in Tagalog and say, but they know some of the things, you know, especially like when like, I'm mad on their mom, their you know their mom is is pissed. They know the some of the Tagalog words. So I need to practice more when I when I talk to them. Um, to, to teach them. So when we do go, and I'm planning to take them, hopefully this year, it's so when they go talk to their uncles or their cousins, you know, yeah. they, they at least understand, you know, right? Conversation. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta have them show uh, or watch them, you know, have them watch shows. ABS. Yeah, I need, I need to link up with no, the no, 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 no. But on a Sunday. Like the Banana Show? What? GMA Banana Show? Yeah, Banana Sunday. Have you heard of that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that that a, a, what's the other one? GMA, GMA. What's the other one with uh, Michael V? <laughs> That's it. We'll take him on that. Banana show, whatever. Banana. <laughs> yeah, Q. banana Sunday. So the the <laughs> girls are <laughs> dancing at first, right, and then you know all the. Yeah, like, my my boys need to learn that so that way they can you know follow. <laughs> no, like, if, so I don't. I know you guys have kids. If I had kids, me and Rose are planning to have kids. Um, I said, look, so, so at the house. Just talk to them straight Tagalog. Mm. No, 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 no. Listen, they when they go to ESL, it's fine because when they yeah, go yeah. when they go to school, they're gonna learn English really quick. Quick. Right. Yeah. In a year or two, they are straight. But yeah, when yeah. you come home, speak straight Tagalog. You will yeah, do. Yeah, that. I mean, yeah. That's that's what I thought. I taught. Hey, I, ESL for us was. Like an advantage because mm. every time we tell, we just tell them, "Hey, we need this, we need this," because we are ESL, and we're like, yeah. "All right, we got you, and we give you this." Yeah, give yeah, you yeah, yeah. And you get special privileges for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one of my friends, uh, one of my good friends, uh, Pat Coleman. He, uh, his kids, oh, yeah, the director well, of the gym. Yeah, you know Pat. Yeah, he's yeah, you know he's not Filipino, cool. right? He's not Filipino. Yeah. He's a uh, Elcano. His mom is Elcano. Anyways, he uh, his kids spoke straight Japanese. In the house, Damn. but okay. when they went to school, they went to ESL for one year, and now they're fine. But yeah. at Sabahai, all the time is always Japanese. Oh, really? Till this day, yeah, yeah, always. Because the mom is half too, so but she speaks. She grew up Japanese. Are they still in Japan? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. See, the wife is general aide to what is that? The yeah, general Angelella at the time. Uh, official 
uh, official translator for the yeah, USFJ. For, for USFJ, the yeah, Commander USFJ. That's yeah, right. she she gets special privilege. She's she's there for years, man. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, same way. I mean, I know you have kids now. They're still young, but just speak the Galo, man. They'll they'll yeah. get they'll know. That's what I need to do. I'm gonna call him tonight and just to question my mom in Tagalog. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know. I, <laughs> I talked to Renzo and he says, like, hey, you know you're Filipino, right? Like, no, I'm not Filipino. I'm from I, I was born in California. Whoa. <laughs> like, no, no, but my, my kids, one of my 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 son, my older one, he's like, I'm not Filipino. I was born in Japan. Because then I you know they tell him he was born in Japan. <laughs> I was yeah. like, oh, okay. <laughs> they 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 were both uh born in Japan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Tyler and um, What's, it, what's that the guy? Yeah, Tyler and TJ. TJ is yeah, the younger one. TJ. TJ, I said Trey Bond, you know, parang ego yung po. Uh, Trey Bond, Jermaine. Pat got like four, three. right? Three or four? I got uh, three with me. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, no, yo, a couple more. No, no, no. Father's Day. Father I'm uh, Mandaluyan. Yeah, just three, just three. Hey, uh, so you know, let, let's go back to uh, you know the Japan. Uh, were you guys there doing the earthquake, the big earthquake in Japan? Uh, yeah, uh, no, so I was. You know, I was still in my first base, Wyoming, oh, and I was yeah. watching the tsunami. The news. Yeah, Komodachi yeah. man, Operation, and, and I knew I was going there. Oh really? Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. So I was. Uh, it happened, I think, January two thousand twelve, but I didn't get there until two thousand eleven. Yeah, eleven. I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Operation Tomodachi. Yep, yeah, I was there. Yeah. It was uh, midday. Look, I was at work, and we have earthquakes all the time, as you know, right? But this one didn't stop for over a minute. Yeah, but like, it fucking shook the whole like, and everybody's like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Midday. And of course, uh, Japan. Japan was ready. Their building, most of the buildings were ready because you know of earthquakes all the time. But when you shake for more than a minute, and then a tsunami, dude, it fucked everything up, man. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I was in the when that shit happened. I was in the I was in the gym. All right, so I was fucking uh, doing. I was doing some deadlifts. You know, I fucking dropped the fucking bar, <laughs> and then uh. And then after that, I was so fucking, you know, I was doing CrossFit with, uh, you know, with Jordan and all the, uh, the SOH folks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, and then we fucking lay down there in the gym and it's like, what the fuck? Is that an earthquake? Yeah. I never ran so goddamn fast outside the gym. Yeah. And then it was surreal because I saw, you know, the, the road right across from the gym. It was literally going like this. Yeah. I was like, God. Damn, and that shit won't stop. Like what Floyd said, that shit was going on for a yeah. long ass time. More in a minute. Calling my wife, and all the con all uh, all networks were down. Yep. And then I went home, and then you know shit is all over the floor. My wife and son was not there. I was like, what the hell is going on? I can't find my wife. Fucking big earthquake happened. I went. To my, then I saw my wife over at my uh, our friend's house. And then they were watching. Uh, I thought they were watching a movie on the TV. Yeah, some kind of fucking tsunami shit. No, and man. I didn't know that was live feed tsunami over in um, Fukushima. Yeah, over in Fukushima, or uh, yeah, I can't remember the town. But that sh that shit was surreal, man. That was yeah. a hell of an experience. Yeah, that's the, I guess in my lifetime, the biggest earthquake I've ever been. We've oh, been yeah, part of biggest, yeah, yeah. Lo biggest and longest earthquake. <laughs> Yeah, so. and and I was working in USFJ at the time, and holy shit, I felt like I was deployed because, man, we were working, you know, 13, 14, 15 mm. hour day every day, no days off. Yeah, you know, for for you know for three or four months. So because you had a you had a setup operation outside, right? You had a big yeah, tent. So we we're doing you know uh you know uh neo operation, you know the nuclear fallout. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. In, well, so I, I I can't remember the fucking exact term, but yeah, there was a lot of shit going on at the time, and you know USFJ was not equipped to do all that shit, all that uh, you know yeah they they they're not ready to be able to do no, all that stuff no, no no so we had yeah there was a 
a task force from Hawaii that had to came in that uh, helped us out. But yeah. but that was that, that that was surreal. That was that was one hell of an experience. Yeah, that was that was 2011. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah Yakota Yakota at that time, man, so much stuff happened. You know, because we're the hub. We're yeah. really the hub of everything. Everything. If you're coming from the states to Asia, ninety nine percent of the time you're going to Yakota for a minute. Yep. And then you go to everywhere, right? Even the president would, would park there because yep. the the plane is always there. Some state department, the president, the vice president was always there. So if you were a part of operations where you – there are so many stuff, operations, that you can make your whole career from Yakota because you did yeah. so many, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. But uh, And yeah, Kadena, too. Kadena is one. And that's why, you know, uh, Japan was – such a memorable experience for me because of you know operation tomodachi and then the typhoon and then the philam community yeah yeah i i, I was uh, i was really sad leaving oh hell yeah i love you. Yeah. Yeah, six, Hi, uh, 16 years pat pat's still there man he's working on 10 years how long you been in japan uh, pat i know it's been forever uh since what since you go to 2012 so, hey, I'll, be, so I'll be 11. I leave in twenty three. Woo! Yeah, that's man. nice, man. You're probably gonna go PCS back to Yakota. <laughs> yep, back here. Yeah, but I mean, you, being in Yakota, whether you be Misawa, Yakota, Okinawa, it's actually for us. It's, it's the best because Philippines is down the road, like four hours or three yeah. hours yeah. down. Yeah. And then California, is just you know, it's California, it's California. You go there, you're on the other side. So technically, Yakota is like the hub of like, or or. Japan like the hub right in the middle. You can mm. go in and boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And I see Pat going to different places. Like same thing. You go to Singapore, you can go to Thailand, you can go yeah. Yeah. So and doesn't doesn't Space A go to Singapore like three times a week or some shit yeah. like that? It's it, it's almost a guaranteed trip. I mean uh you, you go to like every Wednesday, I think. So something like that at the time. Yeah, you can literally go to lunch to Singapore and then come back. If you want. It's like forty seats every yeah, day. Yeah, forty seats twice a week. Back. And is there, is there a Kadena to uh, Singapore? I don't think no, so. Kadena goes to Clark. Uh, yeah, goes no, to Clark. No, I, I think I think we're, what Pat does is uh, from Kadena to Air Force One in Pasay City. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the door. Right. <laughs> my my flight to Air yeah, Force. Gotta get ready for your Air Force One. Yeah. Air Force One. Yeah. yeah, I heard that there's Oak, uh, Kadena to uh, Clark. Couple yeah, because my friends are stationed there. They they. Um, that's nice. Before, that, that's what they did. They go fly out there and then just take a take a bus or uh, take their car to go home. That's eight hundred each. Uh, you save, man. That's fucking yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, man. yeah. When we were in Yakota, we would go to the Philippines. All four of us, me, and my family, my me, and my family, for like eight hundred bucks. Damn. Oh. Cebu Pacific from from uh, Narita. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, Many times. Yeah, that that is so cheap. I mean, me, I'm in Denver right now. I mean, it would say thousand, like a thirty-year like loan mortgage, three <laughs> percent <laughs> interest. Yeah. yeah, but but nowadays it's cheap though. It, it's cheap. especially now, like uh, yeah. yeah. If you book now and book for later this year, it's super cheap, and you can do flexible. You know, we could change your dates just in case you can't go. Yeah. I mean, we we book our we're going to Hawaii in March. Damn. Yeah, okay. yeah or uh, we're. So for four of us coming from Denver, it's twelve hundred bucks. Oh wow! Oh, that's yeah. round trip. Round trip, yeah, round trip, twelve hundred bucks for all four of us from Denver. And this, these are COVID prices. That's yeah. what. I know. That's why. I, and I'm looking at tickets right now because remember I told you guys. Hopefully this summer, I can go uh, visit the kids, mm. uh, fly them to PI, and then from PI spend a couple of leave, couple of weeks there, and then take them out here to Germany so they can spend the summer with me. Yeah, um, Germany, and then take them. Where else are you going to go to? Where else are you going to go in the Philippines? Um, the, probably the beach, okay. Air Force One, Kremlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So we're planning, you know, visit my mom first thing, and then relatives, uh, gra their grandparents, my grandparents, my grandma, and then probably take them to Boracay or Palawan, bro, just to to yeah. hang out the beach. So we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, that's the plan right now. Stay there a couple of weeks, and then from from Manila. From PI straight to Germany, mm. and then after that, send them back to the to the states. All right, so I got I got I got a question for you guys. You know, out of you know different topic, 
what's the best ramen shop in Japan? Ooh, I have, I have many, dude. It's not just one because the flavors are different. So I would say my go-to, because I have several. Yeah. You know the, the ramen shop in Fusa? Which one? Oh, Fusa Station? No, no, Fusa, right? right, right. So you go, here's uh, 7-7, right? You go around the corner on the left. Okay, 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 okay. You're talking about next to the Philippine, the, now now it's, uh, what's her name's uh, Filipino uh, shop? Right next to it. Yeah. Oh, That's I it. know that place, yeah. Ooh, dude. From Okay, so there's a history about that. There's a, different owners from that. But that owner now, still kind of the same, but the Sabao, holy fuck. Yeah. Holy yeah. fuck. Holy shit. Holy shit. Like, so for me, it's, it's it's the one on the back gate, the 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 back gate, and yeah, you, you I, go to the left. Yeah, you know, know what I'm talking about, AJ. Round one, it's round one, or the Don Quixote now? No, no, I don't know what it is, but that's new. He's talking about the East Gate. East Gate, East Gate, yeah, yeah. The East Gate. I know. I remember uh, Jason Estalita. I mean, you guys remember him? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, when I first got here, I remember it was me, uh, Pat. Pat was there. I was so for me, and it was my first time having it. And I had that shit, and it was good. And I went to other places; it was similar, you know. They're all similar, but you I think that, that's my favorite. The one in the my in favorite the, over there in that uh, specific ramen shop that you're talking about is their gyoza. That's my favorite over there. Okay, yeah. Oh, well, the truck stop. Yeah. But my favorite is the one uh, right across Don Quixote, right across the. Yep, middle. yep, yep. That They're one. Off! Oh my god! Yeah, because you, know, you can customize your ramen. Yeah. yeah, that's the new one, though, right? Yeah. Oh, or, it's yeah, like West Beach, West quail Beach. eggs. You can make it uh, salty. You can make it yeah. oily. You can make uh, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, choose your own adventure, right? <clears throat> your own adventure type of ramen. But but the ramen slash gyoza, the truck truck stop. Yep. Right. You know, yep. past the past the McDo uh, run across McDonald's. Yep. That, yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah. that one. Yeah. yeah. It's in uh, Route 16, right? Yeah. Route a lot of gulai, a lot of gulai, but the gyoza there, I'm telling you by far, it's like the best ever I've ever had. So what about what about uh, a sushi spot? What's your go-to? Oh, uh, several too. So, uh, screaming sushi. If I want to, if I have money, <laughs> I'll go to screaming sushi. The um, there's several. It's in Shinomokai, not Shinomokaido. Uh, Ozaku, down by Ozaku. <laughs> Ozaku, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> there's a rock, there's a sushi place down, down there. I forgot the name of it. Oh, do you always go like around 2 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> no. What's sushi right after sushi? <laughs> right after sushi? Yeah. All right, what's your what's your favorite drunk restaurant in Baro? Baro? Macabobs. Macabobs, the best one fucking ever. Which one? Yeah. I think for me, McDonald's, man. I'd go walk McDonald's and get me. Oh, yeah, yeah, we go to the E Club yeah. and get the wings. Oh, yeah, true. E Club. Especially when we had curfew, remember? Freaking, yeah. we got to run to the oh, gate. No, no, uh, the uh, Club Ma Matsuya. Matsuya, dude. Oh, yeah, Matsuya. Matsuya. So oh, like the. Uh, that was do, you, do you guys remember the Chicken Shack? Yes. And their uh, fucking five month old. old uh, cooking oil that they use to fry. whatever whatever it is it tastes good the karyagi it's straight up black yeah it's good but that's that's what amazing and so which 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 one is your favorite um hooters <laughs> in tokyo <laughs> well, they have two now ginza and yeah ginza and uh what's the other one in shibuya shibuya yeah shibuya yeah I so, so i didn't mean i didn't mean which one is your favorite who the girls? I meant the food. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh? <clears throat> but I think my fav my uh, number one favorite ramen shop was uh the one over by um by that Gundam robot. I found a ramen. We me and Anne, we found a random ramen spot over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That that. Oh, Daiba. It's it's, it's like you know Daiba. It's yeah. like yeah, Daiba. It's like bacon broth. Ooh. Swimming in fat. Yeah, the one thing about Japan is not everybody will have their own 
like same ramen shop because yeah, different, yeah, yeah. Flavors, different flavors. Yeah, yeah. It's it's what you like, right? It's what what you know. Here, like. here, I found a good ramen shop. The sabao was really good. The the the, the ingredients, but the ramen is not. I, I am specific about my ramen. Yeah, yeah. You know, I like mine a little bit more firm, more chewy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some are like too soft. You know, like a yeah. bad night, too soft. Oh, so yeah. when I got back. That's how the club likes it too. A little bit firm and chewy. Yeah, just like how he likes it. So, so for me, when I got back from you know PCS out of Japan and then went back to the States, you know, the, my taste for Japanese food is slightly different now. Like so when I go, I'm like, mm, this is all right, but it's not as good. So yeah. I went to now my favorite soup is pho. You know, oh hell oh, yeah. Oh pho, yeah. Bro, fuck that's that's just bomb. Bro. Yeah. Combination. <laughs> Give me all, give it all. Strike, yeah. rocking. I don't like, I don't like fought so much. It's too yeah. bland for me. Oh, you gotta put the sauce yeah. in there, bro. You gotta, bro, you gotta put the brown out. and the red stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like that shit's, you know, Stop. I like that. No sauce. Go like this. And just, just, bro, just put this or like put a couple, couple patis, bro, and you're good. I, I like that shit, you know, I, I like all them flavors exploding in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> really? I like the rich, you know, fluff to me is too bland. No, nah, man. No, I, I it's yeah. all about preference, right? Yeah. I like most, most pho is pretty good. The sauce, I don't add anything to it because I, I really like the sauce. So, ingredients is easy, you know. Hey, bro, since we got started late, man, I, I, I gotta, I gotta dip out. So, we gotta definitely do this again, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Topic, where whatever. Are you where are you going? You probably invite other people, you know, and you just talk about random stuff. And then if you want, we could talk about like maybe related to some of the air, uh, younger airmen for our, our experience, right? So we can something. I mean, we can even post this shit on their page. You just gotta edit it, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I've always wanted to do, and I, I talked to you guys about like having a, a like a veteran Phil M, you know, yeah. experience of yeah, those yeah, who yeah. Are duty, those who are retired. Those who grew up in the Philippines, those who grew up in the States, and vice versa. Because a lot of our topics, I mean, I'm sure they're having the same conversations as everybody else. Yeah, especially the people that are stationed at Yokota right now. They're like, oh, shit, I don't know. I was there last night, whatever, you know? And then especially like the Phil, the organization, whether it's Phil yeah. M, whether yeah. anything, you know, um, Sons of Hawaii, you know, the, you know, tomorrow's, anything, anything, you know, they can relate. So what we went through and hoping that you know they can get something out of it and when they do decide to run an organization uh that they they, they, they do it to our phone not do it for the sake of they need a space in their uh, performance report or whatever they have you know to put it in there so but um hey i gotta go guys so hit me up uh i can't wait to see this so we can tag all our friends and and families on social media so they can watch it as well all right, all right. Thank all you right. very much. How Floyd edits it. So. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm going to leave it all in. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Don't go away. Uh, thank you guys for coming out, Doc. I appreciate you guys. Uh, people out there listening. Doc, Doc's really in a hurry. Yeah. Like, <laughs> booty call. Booty call. Booty call, probably. Yeah, uh, yeah. We had to thank Pat for uh, tuning in. Uh, and of course, AJ out there in uh, Colorado. Uh, it's it's been a it's been a many years, but we talk like it's never never been apart for each other. Uh, but we've had really great memories. We got a lot more stuff to talk about. Uh, there's stuff that I got to edit out here. <laughs> if we see some cuts, we got to edit that shit out because you know. Yeah. We got we got, we got family. <laughs> yep. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, well, on, on the honest tip, we're, we're not here to disrespect. You know, it's just Filipino talk, guys talk. And, uh, we love everybody and we respect everybody. But uh, really good. We want to get. I, I like to really uh, thank you guys for coming out, taking your time. I know it's uh, you, you have a big family and and uh, your time is valuable. So I appreciate you guys on here on Highway 54, ladies and gentlemen, AJ, Pat, and of course Doc had to go because I think he had to go take a shit. All right, thank you very much. Love you guys. Hold on. All right. Take it easy, guys. See you guys next time. We hope you enjoyed the show today. Do us a favor and click on the like button or share our podcast. Thanks for listening. Till next time, we are Highway 54.